Welcome, and uh, let's just jump right in. Our culture has become so obsessed with productivity, and there's nothing wrong with productivity, but often it's at the expense of our humanity. Busyness is actually being worn as a badge of honor by so many people. The busier they can appear to everyone else, the more status they feel like they have, right? And friends, that expectation is what is destroying our humanity. There has to, there has to be boundaries that we put into place. With this awareness of where we are and what our tendencies are, the ups and downs that we have, what are we doing strategically to manage that? Uh, there's two kinds of thinking. Daniel Kahneman wrote about that, thinking fast and slow. Fast thinking, he said, is reactive. It's quick decisions. It's going on instinct, going on habit. Slow thinking, says Daniel Kahneman, is more reflective. It's takes more time. It, it's evaluating the assumptions and core beliefs and knowledge that you have. Effective problem solving increases when we slow down and allow that part of our brain to begin to reflect on what we're seeing. More and more successful leaders are recognizing that they have to engage in slow thinking. So it begins with self, slow thinking and slow thinking leads to this slow uh, self-reflection. One of the strategic natures is this is about trying to understand, be curious about ourselves. So that leads to a, a rigorous self-evaluation. How am I doing? What could I do better? Which leads to a higher level of self-awareness. And the reason self-awareness is so important is because it's one of the foundation stones to emotional intelligence. So we need the relational empathy that comes out of our self-awareness. And that, of course, then leads to what we all want, whether it's in the workplace or with our friendships or families, and that's creative collaboration. That's what self-reflection and self-evaluation empowers us to do. And that's what I wish for you.